I just finished Sandman. If you couldn't tell, I've been making like seven videos on the series. And I've gone over all the story arcs. I've gone over the ending. I've gone over how I felt. I just wanted to make like a series review or just like a series thoughts, end of series thoughts. Because it took me so long to really read this series. Like, I'm recording this. This will come out in November. I'm recording this now, like, the very end of October of 2024. I started this series, like, in the... I started this series my spring semester of 2023. So, between January to May of 2023, January to April of 2023, I read the first volume, Preludes and Nocturnes. And I believe... I don't know. If I had to guess, I want to say it was closer to spring. I want to say I probably read it in like March or April. So I started the series, we'll, we'll say March of 2023. And then I remember I got home from school and I went to the library and I got like volume two in like May. And I read the first issue of that volume and then I just never finished it. And then I think, I believe after that, I never picked it up until... I got home this May. I graduated college in May. I got home middle, the middle slash end of May of this year. And I was like, all right, go to the library. And I picked up the first couple volumes. I already read, I already read volume one, so I picked up volume two up to like five. Or, I think my library had like volumes one through six. Yeah, I believe I picked up volumes two to six. And... I remember finishing volume two and I was like, oh, finally. And then I just got into it. And yeah, this series is just really, this series is really special to me. Because I started it when I was a junior in college. I'm, I'm, I'm a graduate now. And it was just so long ago. Like so many things <laughs> have changed. So many things are different. But when I think about the series, I just think about the stories that I loved. I think about brief lives i think about season of mists i think about all the weird episodic one-off stories that i loved i think about shakespeare i think about yeah and that was the one thing that i talked about a lot in my previous video about the very ending of the of the series shakespeare's kind of like intertwined in this book which is pretty funny and i guess i just love that i love how this series isn't it's not really a superhero series i used to think oh sandman's like that weird superhero series it's not it's like a fantasy mythological comic but it is in the final like afterward of volume 10 neil gaiman said in his like in his goodbye to the series he said the series is about goodbyes and he mentioned something that he, he said this story is a story he said Sandman is a story about stories. And I thought that was like really cool because it is. And he mentioned how it's a story about not wanting to say goodbye and how he hates saying goodbye and how he's terrible at saying goodbye. And I do not want to say goodbye to this series because I loved it so much. But I also understand how much of a privilege it is to read this story for the first time. I have a really close friend of mine who I've kind of been talking to since throughout the story of me reading it. And he's like, dude, you're so lucky. I wish I could read Sandman for the first time again. So this was a complete just privilege. And I love the Shakespeare stuff. It hits me so close to home. I just love this series. Read Sandman. If you haven't, you're lucky.